All right, good evening everybody. It is six o'clock and I'll call the seventh regular common council meeting to order. Will the clerk state the quote of the evening? May we think of freedom not as the right to do as we please, but as the opportunity to do what is right. Thank you, will the clerk call the roll? Alderperson Bellinger? Here. Decker? Here. Feldy? Here. Heideman? Here. Lefebvre? Here. Mitchell? Here. Perella? Here. Peterson? Here. Ramey? Excused. Rust? Present. There are nine present. Thank you. If folks could please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Alder Decker, what is your privilege on the motion for the minutes? Thank you, Mayor. I move to approve the minutes from the 6th Gregory Council meeting held on June 17th, 2024. Thank you, moved and seconded. Any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, all those in favor state aye. 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 Any objections? Minutes are approved. Next item four, confirmation of appointment, city attorney. There are two uh, to be confirmed today, John Donovan to be considered for appointment to the Housing Authority and Drew Phillips to be considered for appointment to the Sustainability Task Force. Thank you, Alder Decker. I move to confirm. Second. Moved and seconded. Seeing no discussion, all those in favor, uh, actually this is a roll call vote. Alder Person Feldy. There are 10 eyes. 10? Nine. nine. Sorry, okay. there are nine eyes. <laughs> Just checking. <laughs> All right, those are approved. Uh, next appointment, city attorney. Thank you. Pursuant to section 2-447B of the Sheboygan Municipal Code relating to the Director of Public Works, uh, the mayor and the city administrator hereby recommend that Travis Peterson be appointed as the Director of Public Works for the city of Sheboygan, effective July 8th, 2024. Thank you, and that will lay over. Number six, appointment, city attorney. The mayor submits the following appointments for your confirmation. Fern Lumabau to be considered for appointment to the Sustainability Task Force. Thank you, and that will lay over. City clerk, anyone for a public forum? There is no one this evening. Thank you. Uh, then mayor's announcements. So it is Independence Day uh, week coming up. The July 4th uh, festivities will begin um, in the city of Sheboygan. Um, so kicking it off on July 3rd, on Wednesday evening, Venetian the Venetian Boat Parade uh, will occur on the riverfront um, starting at uh, dusk down on the river as well, and that is sponsored by the Sheboygan Yacht Club. On the 4th of July, Thursday, uh, the parade will begin at 9 a.m., so be sure to get out there early and put down your blankets, tarps, and chairs. Um, so the parade will go down 8th Street uh, to Michigan Avenue and then down Broughton Drive as well. Following the parade, uh, there will be, be music in the park um, at Fountain Park, as well as with the farmer's markets. There'll be live musics and brat fry events all day along uh, the river at Harbor Lights, um, as well as live music and concessions at Driftwood on South Pier from 1 p.m. to 9 p.m., and as well as Freedom Fest with music, food, and fun uh, from starting at noon to 10 p.m. at D-Land Park, uh, as well as the fireworks will begin roughly around 9.30 p.m., and we want to thank our sponsors for all the festivities of Planko, Festival Foods, and Wisconsin Bacon Trust. More information regarding Freedom Fest and all the 4th of July festivities can be found at Visit Sheboygan's uh, website. So that's the big item uh, for my announcements this evening. Uh, and obviously just a quick uh, update, want to thank our Parks Department. Uh, the pickleball courts uh, seem like they're getting tested out, so they are open, uh, at least the ones at Kiwanis Park uh, as well. So pickleball is in full force this summer. So. Those will conclude my announcements for this evening. We'll jump into hearings, item number nine. Hearing number 32425, 
pursuant to notice published by the city clerk or allowing interested parties to be heard relative to the proposed updates on the local floodplain ordinance. Anyone wishing to speak on the local floodplain ordinance? Anyone wishing to be heard? Anyone wishing to be heard? Final call, anyone wishing to be heard? Seeing none, Alder Decker, is there a motion to close? Thank you, Mayor, I move to close the hearing. Second. Moved and seconded, all those in favor, state aye. 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 Any objections, that hearing is closed. Next, we have items on the consent agenda, items 11 through 18, Alder Decker. Thank you, Mayor, I move to receive and file all ROs, receive all RCs, and adopt all resolutions and ordinances. Second. Thank you, that's been moved and seconded. Any items regarding on the consent agenda? Uh, Alder Mitchell. Thank you, Mayor. Just a question on item uh, 17, the bucket truck order. The second whereas clause states the city desires to replace so on and intends to include this in their 2025 capital improvement plan. Is this already in the plan for 25 or are we somewhat accelerating making decisions on what that CIP looks like by approving this tonight? Because it's not necessarily a small sum. Aaron, you want to take that? I, otherwise, I can. Yeah. Or Casey. Yeah. Okay, Aaron. No, we as need to Is it we want to allow? You're turning it off. There we go. <laughs> okay, it's on. Don't touch anything. <laughs> okay, thank you. Uh, no, this is just a letter of intent stating that the council recognizes that there is a long time to enter into an agreement to purchase a vehicle. And at the time of January 1st, at that point in time, during the budget of the 2025 cycle, then the council could approve and enter in the agreement with the supplier. Thank you. Okay. Any other questions on the consent agenda? Alder Dicker? Uh, I'd like to pull number 16 from the, and, and vote separate. Okay. Uh, I'd like to make a motion to that. Uh, well, let's first we need okay. a motion to approve item 16. I need to make a motion to amend. For first, we have to make a motion to approve, then amend. So, is there a motion to approve? Okay, I'll make a motion to approve. Sorry. Is there a second? <laughs> Moved and seconded. All right, Alder Decker. Okay. Uh, I mo make a motion to amend the Marina and Riverfront slips fee schedule attachment to reflect the addition of a fee for the upstairs Marina venue rental at the rate of $500 per day. Second. It's, there's been a, a motion to amend. There's been a motion in the second. Any discussion on this amendment? Seeing no discussion on the amendment, all those in favor of approving the amendment state aye. Aye. Any objections? All right, seeing none, the amendment is approved. Back to the main motion uh, on the table, item 16. Any other discussion on item number 16? All right, seeing none, all those in favor state aye. Aye. Any objections? All right, that item is approved. All right, anything regarding the consent agenda? Anything further? All right, seeing no further discussion on the items on the consent agenda, the rest will be a roll call vote. There are nine eyes. All right, those items are approved. All right, jumping into item 19, RO number 242425 by the City Plan Commission, to whom was re referred direct referral general ordinance number 52425 by Elder Persons Bellinger and Prella, and district direct, excuse me, direct referral RO number 222425 by the City Clerk submitting an encroachment request for Commonwealth Companies owner VU 14 LLC to portions of Illinois Avenue right away for the purposes of creating front steps to the buildings. Alder Bellinger. I move to adopt the ordinance and file the report. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion on this item? All right, Alder Prella. I just want to have a confirmation that those encroachments don't um, hinder in any way the traffic of the, um, on Illinois, although that's a dead end there, but um, I just want to make, I have a formal confirmation that the, the, the traffic on, tr car traffic on Illinois on the north side 
uh, will not be hindered in any way. And also I couldn't find all the encroachment on this plant. Kevin? So, two, three, four, five, yeah. So on the south side of Illinois Avenue, there is about 10 feet behind from the back of sidewalk to the property line. That's where the encroachment's gonna be. They'll be taking up about five feet of it at each of the five locations with the steps. So it won't impact traffic at all. You said the south side? Yes. Oh, okay. On the south side of Illinois Avenue. Okay, oh yes, yes, yes. Very good, thank yep. you. Any other discussion on this item? All right, seeing none, this is a roll call vote. Alder Person Feldy. There are nine eyes. All right, that's approved. Next item 20, RO number 252425 25 by the City Plan Commission to whom was referred General Ordinance number 42425 by Alder Persons Bellinger, amending various articles of sections of Chapter 107 of the Municipal Code as to make updates to the floodplain ordinance in order to comply with the requirements of the Department of Natural Resources. Alder Bellinger. I move to approve the ordinance. Second. Moved and seconded. Discussion on this item? All right, seeing none, this will be a roll call vote. Or Alder Mitchell, was that a, okay. Alder Person Feldy. There are nine eyes. All right, that item is approved. Items 21 through 23 will be referred to the respective committees. Item 24 will be referred to the Licensing Hearing and Public Safety Committee. Item 25 will lay over. And then items 26 and 30 will be referred to their respective committees. Item 31, RC number 422425 by the Finance and Personnel Committee to whom was referred a direct referral resolution number 322425 by Elder Persons Mitchell and Prella authorizing the City Attorney's Office to settle the matter of cities and villages Mutual Insurance Company versus Jacob Smith, Circuit Court case number 2022 CV 357. Alder Mitchell. Thank you, Mayor. I move to receive the RC and adopt the resolution. Second. Moved and seconded. Discussion on this item. All right, seeing none, this will be a roll call vote. Alder Person Feldy. There are nine eyes. All right, that's approved. Next, RC um, 32, RC number 432425 by the Finance Personnel Committee to whom was referred to General Ordinance number 32425 by Alder Persons Mitchell and Prella amending sections 1874 of the Municipal Code as to authorize the Finance Director Treasurer to compensate Matt Greenwood interim pay for his service to the city as in, interim information technology director. Alder Mitchell. Thank you, Mayor. I move to receive the IRC and adapt the ordinance. Second. Moved and seconded. Discussion on this item. All right, seeing none, this is a roll call vote. There are nine eyes. That's approved. M33, RC number 442425 by the Finance and Personnel Committee to whom was referred General Ordinance number 22425 by Elder Persons Mitchell and Prella amending section 1874 of the Municipal Code as to update to the rules and conditions for acting pay for non-represented employees. Elder Mitchell. Thank you, Mayor. I move to receive the RC and adopt the ordinance. Second. Moved and seconded. Any discussion on this item? Seeing none, this is a roll call vote. Alder Person Lefebvre. There are nine eyes. All right, that's approved. Item 34, General Ordinance Number 92425 by Alder Persons Decker and Rust, 
amending section 60-60.72 or of the Sheboygan Municipal Code entitled Boats and Watercrafts at Beaches as so as to grant the Director of Engineering and Public Works authority to waive enforcement of section 60.72A. Alder Decker. Thank you, Mayor. I ask to suspend the rules. Any objection? Seeing none, please proceed with your motion. I move to adopt the ordinance. Second. Moved and seconded. Alder Bellinger. Can I get an explanation as to why we're suspending the rules? Sure. Um, this was this was actually actually you were uh, at that meeting. We talked about this. This is about the watercraft. This is at the public works meeting. We had the discussion about this, and uh, we uh, th th this in order to be able to do this in timely fashion for the uh, event to occur, we need to uh, expedite this through. Right. Thank you. I I realize that, but for the public here and those that are watching at home, I think it's important that they know why we're suspending the rules. But thank you. Thank you. Alder Rust. We also let it be known to the Department of Public Works that we'd like to see these things happen sooner than uh, what we've received just for public input. And we look forward to this happening again next year, but with no suspension of rules. Thank you. Other items, on, other discussion for this item? All right, seeing no more cues, this is a roll call vote. Alder Person Feldy. There are nine eyes. All right, that's approved. Items 35 through 38 will be referred to their respective committees. Item 39, resolution number 39-24-25 by Alder Persons Decker and Rust, temporary waiving enforcement of certain ordinances in support of the Catamaran Racing Association of Wisconsin Sheboygan Regatta. Alder Decker. Uh, I ask to suspend. Any objections? Seeing none, please proceed with your motion. I, I move to adopt the resolution. Second. Moved and seconded. Alder Bellinger. Thank you. Uh, this relates to the previous um, resolution, and um, I agree with um, Alderman Rust. Uh, the gentleman who submitted the documentation submitted it back in September last fall, and then he followed up early May again to see what was going on, and then it, was, it didn't show up on the public works agenda till last week, and it was for discussion only. We're in a very condensed time frame right now, so therefore we need to suspend the rules and approve this. I am in favor of this, but this should not necessitate a suspension of the rules. Um, things should have been done in a more timely and professional manner rather than uh, putting this gentleman here um, in a crunch time frame and uh, you know the members of the committee as well to go through all that, that we went through at the last meeting and, and make sure that everything uh, was as it should be. So I just would think that next time that things could move in a more um, expedient manner rather than just being you know, rushed um, as it was in this case. So thank you for that. Thank you, Elder Bellinger. Anyone else wishing to speak on this item? All right, seeing none, this is a roll call vote. Alder Person Faldi. There are nine eyes. All right, that's approved. Next is a contemplated closed session. Alder Decker. Thank you, Mayor. I move to convene in closed se session under exemption provided in section 19.85 sub E for the purpose of discussing strategy to be adopted by the body in a matter where bargaining reasons require a closed session to with fire union arbitration. Second. Moved and seconded. This is a roll call vote. There are nine eyes. All right. That's approved. We'll take a two minute recess and then we'll convene an open session. Closed session. Closed session. Closed session. <laughs>